Hey, what's going on everybody? I put my video up last week of my experiences at C2E2 and today I'm just going to put together a little video showing everything that I picked up at the convention. Alright, so when we first entered the convention, the company Head Smash, they were giving out a bunch of free goodies and a bag to carry them around in. Uh, this is the bag that we got and I'll show you what we got that came with it. First thing here is we got a program guide. And it's pretty cool. It has all the details in here of who was signing and Star Wars Celebration Europe, different artist alleys and all that. So this is pretty cool to have just as uh, for keepsake. And we also got a lanyard. And you can never have too many of these, so it's always nice to have a couple extra ones. And the last thing we got in here was sunglasses that are from Men in Black 3. And I haven't seen the movie and don't plan on it, but it's always nice to have an extra pair of sunglasses, so I'll get this open here. Here's the sunglasses. Got a little Men in Black 3 logo there on the side. Get that. And it comes with a little cloth to clean them and a certificate of authenticity as well. So that's pretty nice to get that just for free walking in. And the first out of the signatures that we got, we got a Walking Dead poster signed by the three cast members that they had attending. And the first signature here, we have Chandler Riggs who plays Carl, Lori Holden who plays Andrea, and then we have Chad Coleman who plays Tyrese. And they're all really nice people. It was really cool to meet them and get their signatures on here. Huge fan of The Walking Dead. And later on at Wizard World in Chicago, we're also going to have Sarah Wayne Callies, John Bernthal, Norman Reedus, and Michael Rooker. So I definitely plan on having all four of them added to this poster. And then also we got an 8x10 of Chandler Riggs. And another one here of Lori Holden. And after The Walking Dead, the next autograph that we got was for Diamond Dallas Page. And he says, Yo, Scott, bro, do your DDP yoga or else, bang. And this was the coolest picture he had up there. So this is the one I wanted signed. And I did pick up his DDP yoga program. I'll show that in a little bit here. But Diamond Dallas Page is one of the classiest, down-to-earth people I've ever met. He is awesome. And the last signature was for Ron Perlman. And here he just said to Scott, boss, Ron Perlman, and then Hellboy underneath there. And Ron Perlman is a really nice guy as well. We went to his Q&A session, and he was hilarious. So definitely a really cool guy, awesome to meet him. And he mentioned that he wanted to get Hellboy 3 going, and they're waiting on Guillermo del Toro to get it together, so hopefully we'll get that soon. And we also got some artwork. I am a huge fan of picking up artwork at conventions. And this here is obviously Jack Sparrow. This is done by Corey Smith. And he's a great artist. I, he's probably one of my favorite artists that I've seen at any convention. I met him a couple years ago at Wizard World in Chicago. And I just love his detail. And if you look mostly his style here, he does from the shoulder up for most of his art, and I really like that. I think it's great. And zoom in here a little bit, and you can see his eyes. He personalizes everything a little bit, which is cool. You can see the brown in the eyes. He did that with colored pencil for us. And there's a little bit of a shade of blue on the outside there, too. So it's nice because you get a print, and he's really reasonably priced, but then he personalizes a little bit. And down there, signs it for you as well. And this one here is for my girlfriend. And then I also got a piece from him. And this is the one I got. This is Loki. And I love this. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Tom Hiddleston playing Loki. I think he does it perfect. So definitely had to grab this. And this one has a lot more color in it, obviously. See all the yellow here. A little bit of blue. And then the blue down here as well. And I actually asked Corey to add some more blue. This was done in blue already, but all the little extra line work here. 
on the outside. I asked him to add that in there. He had no problem with it. So really nice down to earth guy. Also did the eyes on here as well. And there's his signature down there in the corner. So really happy to have this. Definitely will be getting both of those framed. And look forward to getting more artwork from him as well. And the piece that I got from him a couple years ago. Here, I'll grab that and show it real quick. It's, uh, it's the Joker. Heath Ledger's Joker from Dark Knight. And this one here I did get framed. So I'm going to get these other ones framed as well. But there's that piece. This is the first one that I got from him. There's the signature there, and then you can see how he personalized it there with the green and the eyes. And then he did the lips red. So, fantastic artist, does great work. Definitely will be getting more from him. And I'll put links in the description box so you can check out his other artwork. The other artwork we got was from an artist that I met for the first time at C2E2. He likes to be called Rack, which is the initials for his name, so we're going to call him Rack. I'll put a link down below so you can check out everything he does as well. We found out about him because my buddy's girlfriend went and got a piece for my girlfriend, so we went over there to check out what else he had and wound up buying a lot. He has a really unique style to what he does, and I'll show you everything we got from him. And here's what he does. He does little character pieces that he prints out on a little card, puts them in a sleeve, and he does sign each one, and he sells these for a buck each. It's really cool. He has a ton of them, and it's one of the most genius things I've ever seen anybody do at a convention. He gets a lot of people there, and you could spend hours looking through everything he's got. So here's Captain Jack Sparrow. And he has the Harry Potter set. So there's Harry Potter, Ron, Dumbledore, Hermione, and Snape. And the Wizard of Oz series, which has Dorothy, the Scarecrow, the Cowardly Lion, the Tin Man, and the Wicked Witch of the West. And he has a Kick-Ass series, which has Kick-Ass, Hit Girl, and Big Daddy. And I'm a big fan of the Creature from the Black Lagoon, so he had two of those. Grabbed each one. Got Daryl and Rick from The Walking Dead, Celine from Underworld, Boba Fett, and he had a lot of Star Wars ones, so I'll definitely be grabbing more, but I wanted to make sure I did get Boba Fett. Got Hellboy, and Arnold from Terminator. And then we also grabbed these three for my daughter, Tinkerbell, Belle, and little Pegasus horse here. So, that's his style, that's what he does, it's a great deal for a buck, we spent a long time looking through everything he's got, definitely plan on getting more of his art, and he's going to be at Wizard World in Chicago this year as well, and he's going to have a Killer Clowns from Outer Space line ready for then, so I'm looking forward to grabbing those, and I also mentioned to him about doing a Phantasm series, I'm a huge fan of Phantasm, and he said shoot him an email, he tried to get it done, it's something he's actually been wanting to do, because he does do a lot of horror pieces, so I'll make sure to send that to him, and hopefully we'll get that at Wizard World. Definitely I'm going to be collecting a lot of these. And here is the DDP Yoga. This is the program guide. has the different fitness things in here, the eating nutrition plans, and has some motivational things to keep you going. And he signed this as well. Just wrote Bang, Diamond Dale's page. And I, once again, I can't say enough nice things about him. I was looking forward to grabbing this so I could incorporate this into my current daily activity and also get on a better nutrition plan. So, looking forward to hopping into that. And it also came with a poster. And this just has some of the basic moves in it. So this is pretty neat. He also signed this as well. Right here, it says, Yo Scott, did you do your DDP yoga today? Diamond Dale's page. So that's nice to have. And then it also comes with the discs here. And this is the first little booklet, is disc one and two. And all the different workouts that they have on each disc. And we have discs three and four in the other pouch. So looking forward to hopping on this. This is the mid-tier program. He also has 
another couple of discs that have some more extreme stuff in there. So we'll see if, how I'm doing with these if I want to go up to that yet. But yeah, there's the DDP yoga program. And I grabbed this t-shirt as well. I like to get at least one shirt at each convention. And this worked out perfect because I've been looking for a Creature from the Black Lagoon shirt forever. And none of them just seemed good enough or unique enough that I actually wanted to wear. And this one I absolutely fell in love with. And it says they're hot for Creature. I think that's really cool. I see the bubbles coming up with the heart there. I think that's really awesome and unique. And this is done by the Fine Print Shop. And this was cool how they did it too because they had all their designs up and all their different color shirts. And they put this on for you right there, right off the press. So you can get this kind of print on any color shirt you wanted. And I like how they did that. So I decided to get it on the gray here. And I'm really happy I grabbed this. Alright, so there's everything I picked up at C2E2 this year. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you attended the convention or if you have anything signed or any kind of artwork that you want to share, please leave a comment or a video response. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to follow everything else that I do, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Or... Yeah.